I'm ready. Good. I'll sync the coordinates with my adjutor. Then we'll teleport there. Or did you think we were gonna walk all that way? Couldn't we have saved ourselves the trip to the clerics then? You mean because I knew the coordinates of the castle? Well, I was hoping you'd take off while we were on the road. I was sure you wouldn't accept my command. How wrong can a person be? Besides, I have to admit your help has proven to be extremely useful. Well, thank you very much. Our differences have been settled. No need to hold a grudge. Well, shall we? We shall. It's a much more pleasant way to travel. Let's turn the crater upside down and get the answers. So, what do we do? Our target is an outlaw named Viper. The two outlaws I shadowed mentioned him. And if I'm not mistaken, he's the one Skibor got the bomb from. I'll take the north of the city, you take the south. Objections? Why don't we search together? As our mission to the clerics has been quite fruitful, we'll proceed in a similar way here. But don't go talking to just any random nobody. You need to specifically target people who have a lot of contact with others. Start with a gate guard. If you get to him before I do, put him through the ringer. You can do that without me. Everything will become clear soon. I can feel it. I'm looking for Viper. He expecting you? Nope. Now where is he? No fucking clue. Doesn't show his face out here much these days. But you're better off not finding him. He's a character. Really, in a class of his own. Can you tell me where to find Viper? I could, yes. But why should I? I just want to talk to him, that's all. I'm sorry, but no. Don't misunderstand me, I'm not protecting him. I have no sympathy for those who crawl around in the shadows. Unless you see his name on my board, you won't learn anything from me. That would violate my personal and professional ethics. You took on Crane's contract, Eb. No. He's nowhere to be found in the crater. How could he slip through our fingers when he was so close? It boggles the mind. How are you faring with air? Looks like she's long gone. All I found were a few corpses. <sighs> Most unfortunate. That little minx has been leading us on a merry dance for decidedly too long.
There's... Wanna buy something? Hold on. First you wanna fight me. Now you wanna sell me something? Business is business. So, do you wanna... To pay... I know I don't look like a trader, but yeah, I am. And I got some real interesting stuff to sell. And from totally legitimate sources, too. <laughs> if you get my meaning. I don't have time. Without Xander's permission, you have no... Buddy, you aren't allowed to be here. Fuck off. Where can I find Viper? You're barking up the wrong tree. Hector doesn't want him around here. Try the lower districts. I'm looking for an outlaw. Goes by the name of Viper. I don't really know him. I've only met him briefly. I had an audience with Baxter. Viper arrived shortly after me, but left again almost immediately. I haven't seen him around since. But this place is such a maze that it's easy to miss people. Sorry I couldn't be any more help to you. Well, thanks for the information anyway. Tell me where to find Viper. Viper? Can't say I know him. Right. How much? You deaf? I said I don't know him. All I got is some hooch. You want? Nothing. Again. That bastard is difficult to find. Somebody must know something.
Hey, mister, you looking for someone? I mean, I am. But how do you know that? None of your beeswax. But I'll help you find him for a thousand shiny ones. All right. Now start talking, kid. Oof, I can't carry this much. You wanted a thousand shards, you got a thousand shards. You're a big old stupid head. They're way too heavy. I don't want them anymore. So, you gonna help me anyway? Yeah, okay. My daddy knows the guy you're looking for. Does your daddy have a name? He does, but you gotta guess it. It's no fun if you don't guess. Okay, give me a clue. He's the most important man in the whole crater. Baxter is your daddy? Not him. My daddy makes sure no one goes thirsty. You're talking about Mick, the innkeeper. Bingo! Hey, you're smarter than you look. Your dad said he doesn't know the guy I'm looking for. Huh, you would say that. Okay, I'll ask him again. Don't tell him I snitched. He get angry. You got my word. I gotta go now. See you around somewhere, maybe. I'm staying out of this. Bullshit. You know who Viper is. How? How do you know? God damn it. That little hussy's running her mouth again, ain't she? That's none of your business. There ain't nothing but trouble with that one. I swear. Lay a hand on her, and you'll be in much bigger trouble. All right, all right, relax. I ain't gonna hurt her. It's just that if certain things reach the wrong people, my ass is grass, you know? Then there won't be no one around to take care of her. But that's my problem. We're talking about Viper. I do some work for him, delivering some stuff now and again, little jobs here and there, nothing major. Was that so hard? Why didn't you tell me that in the first place? Because you piss him off and he won't let you forget it. Ever. That's why. I ain't so comfortable with this. What do you want from him? I want to meet him. Can you arrange that? You sure are demanding, fella. He's gonna ask questions. What do I tell him when he asks why you want to meet? We have a mutual friend, Skibor. All right, fine, I'll tell him. Wait till tomorrow night. I'll let you know if the meeting's still on. My attention is needed elsewhere. I can't believe this. The enemy is coming, whatever we do. It lies in the dirt all day long. Nothing is certain. You better get out of here! Fine, you better next get time, out of here. just don't quiet. do it!
Damn it. I need to hurry. I don't have time for I'm you right now. Probably better off not thinking about it. So, did you set up the meeting with Viper? Your internal clock is off. See you later. To all those who have seen oh. the mutant and survived, remember what Elix can do. Remember what it can turn us into. Don't let the great danger of the new year blind you to the doom of the old. It's better to stick to the reliable and Whether it's a shotgun or a laser weapon. <sighs> well, who knows what will happen if I don't look after the bastion. Ugh, shit. Why am I doing all this shit for Dawkins anyway? Ugh, I have no other choice. I don't want to die like that. I can agree with that. The cheater becomes the cheater. So. Yeah, and I hope you know what you're in for. Still too light out. Viper don't like daylight. You should wait till dark, pour a drink, and pray for good luck. It works for me. There we go. I like you better when you're relaxed, you know? Man, you're really pounding it down. You got a cast iron stomach or something? <laughs> anyway, we gotta go. You're a real weirdo, you know. I met body bags chattier than you. We all got problems. Something tells me I wouldn't want to deal with yours. How much farther is it? Not much. Almost there. That guy over there is one of Viper's boys. His boss can't be far away. I'd come with you, but... I'll handle it. You head on home. Yeah, I'll do that. Good luck, pal. Ah, there you are. You're the VIP Viper's been waiting for. There you are. Come on in. Don't be scared. Come here. So, you're the other one. The other one what? There was an Albin here earlier. Said his name was Zarek. He was a little too nosy for my liking. You've made a mistake. I don't know him. Yeah, we both know that's bullshit. We got off on the wrong foot. But I won't hold it against you. Besides, this place doesn't exactly inspire confidence. What's your point? I get it. Give me a sec. I don't need you anymore. Go wait outside. You got it, boss. You know, I normally have a stake in everything. Goods, services, you name it. But I've been trying to expand lately, and I'm losing business partners left and right. It was all so promising when I started. But here I go, getting ahead of myself. Let's start from the beginning. You're here for Skibor, just like your pale-faced friend. Or should I say, ex-friend. That rat left for the depot when I fed him a few lies. What a shame. One leaves you in the lurch, and the other blows himself up. <laughs> you know about that? Of course. And I owe you my thanks for that. If it wasn't for you, that idiot howler would have ruined everything. 
In case you don't remember, he was looking to relieve you and Skibor of your shards. It's a good thing you didn't get pulled into his game. Skibor never would have succeeded. So you and Skibor were partners? <laughs> we weren't partners. But he was a useful tool for me. But, first things first. When Skibor first arrived in the crater, I couldn't tell the difference between him and the rest of the scum. He was just an average-looking guy. But this average-looking guy was buying Elix left and right, so I knew something was fishy. So I wanted to know two things from him. Where did he get the shards to pay for the Elix, and why didn't I ever see him use it? He was made full use of everything else. Everything was a rush for him. Didn't matter if it was alcohol or women. He had no control. He wasn't telling me anything, so I just pumped him full of chems. He was singing like a canary then. <laughs> and you wouldn't believe what he told me. An ALB agent disguised as a human? Genius. Then I got an idea. All I needed for it was a bomb. A human bomb. How'd you make Skibor into a bomb? It was easy. Getting him sedated was a cinch. Then I sliced him open and wired him up. And it was all thanks to my homemade cocktail of chems. He had no side effects. Well, except for the odd stomach ache. Albs are tough, man. Same goes for a fucked up alb. How'd you know when he was gonna leave? I knew his routine. <laughs> At least I thought I did. I gave him double the elix and hoped he would deliver the stuff to his client. But that son of a bitch didn't move. He couldn't get enough of the stuff. And I didn't have any more to give him. <laughs> Imagine the situation. He could have gone off if he'd farted and taken half the crater with him. Even though the detonator was only supposed to react to a high concentration of elix, I wasn't sure exactly what would happen. And neither Baxter nor Hector would have found it funny to have their huts torn out from straight under their asses. Luckily, you came along and made everything better. So the attack on the Alps was all your idea? Of course. Those fireworks were supposed to catapult me to the top. It just didn't pan out that way, as you can tell. You're pretty calm for a guy who almost started a war. Everyone knows it's not us that has the Alps' attention. It's those stupid purple bugs. Besides, the clerics were the ones who were supposed to be the whipping boys. All I had to do was set Skibor on them. It was a simple trade. Their medal for Elix. That was the deal. But Skibor didn't know it'd be the last deal he ever made. So, this brings up a question. How'd you find out about me? You didn't cover your tracks as well as you thought. <laughs> well, that won't happen a second time. What if I were to offer you a job, huh? You come work for me? What do you say? What's in it for me? <laughs> You're considering it. Well, that's a surprise. There's a snag. You see, I don't know where your loyalties lie. Too bad for you. I just can't work with anyone who knows more than I do. And what you know is enough to get me killed. It was a mistake sending your guards outside. Mistake? That's just the way I want it. The less they know, the better. But since you seem to miss them, I'll bring them back. Tell Skibor a- Shit! What was that? There we go! You didn't think I would abandon you, did you? No, it's good to see you. Don't mention it. Let's get the fuck out of here before people start asking too many questions. I had the dubious...
fortune to track this guy down before you did. He distrusted me from the outset. That gave him an advantage, so I had to take action. What do you mean you played dumb? I must have been convincing. His henchmen didn't follow me. Good thing you took them out. I wasn't sure you could handle them all, so why take a risk? Let's sum up the results one last time. We'll go up there, have some peace and quiet. This way! Okay, out with it. What did you learn? Skibor is only partly to blame. The Elix became his undoing. How so? His consumption was limited to a minimum. He was supposed to get it for someone. The outlaw took advantage of that and turned it into a bomb. What? You know what that means. It's not over yet. What are you talking about? Listen. Alexander Azox long suspected that Commander Aris is taking more Elex than allowed. It was my job to find out if his theory was true. You remember our meeting at the Collectors? I was looking for a middleman there. I had no idea that Skibor had taken on that role himself. The Commander is a security risk. You should have told me sooner. I know. I regret that I didn't. I don't know the reasons for Orissa's behavior, but I've learned that it's better to find out before jumping to any conclusions. Except, I'm no longer the right man for the job. You've shown me what it is to be efficient. What it means to make your own decisions. I can't just return to the depot and keep on like before. I want to understand how the world works. To do that, I have to turn my back on the Directive. I have to leave the Alps. We started together. We'll finish together. We already have. And I couldn't have asked for a better partner at my side than you. You've shown me a new path. Don't stop me from following it now. So, what are you going to do now? I'll do what you did. Disappear into exile for a while. But if you want to do me one last favor, cut the commander some slack. I know you two didn't get along, but we owe her a lot. I'll think about it. As a start? Who knows, you might even be able to open her eyes. As I don't understand much about saying goodbye, I won't even try. All right. Take care of yourself, Zarek. I will. But go now. The depot is waiting. Oh, and... Don't... Oh, and Jax. Yeah? Thanks. Don't... back. Good. I assume you have nothing to report? Wrong. But it's better if I tell you the rest without your guards here. Excuse me. I must have misheard you. Trust me. I'm doing you a favor. Okay, if it's that important to you. Leave us alone! Yes, Commander. Alright, explain. 
Are the clerics responsible for the attack? Not the clerics. The outlaws. One of them, at least. What are you talking about? Skibor would never have gotten involved with them. Not willingly, no. But he was being used and they made him into a living bomb. And it's all thanks to you. How dare you! You're standing in front of a commander of the Albs! Spare me the theatrics. I want to help you. Help me? <laughs> Nobody can help me. I can try. But you need to be honest for once. Alright, fine. No more lies. Skibor had to supply me with Elix. I couldn't think of another way out. You can't imagine what it's like. All I do, every day, all day, is pass down judgments. Every one means a death. And the bodies pile up and up. The lifeless faces blur together. But I do it. And I deal with it, and I make more hard decisions, and I always put efficiency first. I always promote our vision. And I use Elix to help me forget. To blunt these emotions and leave me cold. But the normal ration's not enough. Skibor understood that. More than anybody else. But now you're here. And holding up the mirror to me. I've just made everything worse. There's... There's no future for me. Who says your future lies with the Albs? You could work for the clerics. Me? For the clerics? Huh. <laughs> they would never. Refuse a helping hand? Correct. You're hard to understand. Why are you doing this? Why are you helping me? I promised a friend. A friend? Who? Zarek. Zarek? Did I hear you right? I thought he hated you. In fact, your dislike of each other is the reason you were sent off together. As a distraction to stop attention landing on me. Guess I failed at that too. Where is he anyway? He's not coming back. And neither should you. Now don't make me ask you again. Go to the clerics. If Hagen digs his heels in, tell him I sent you. He owes me a favor. Right away. I just have to pack up my kit. My final order is, report to Azok. It's up to him to officially close this investigation. Tell him about my misconduct. Maybe it'll help him to appoint a more capable successor. Oh, and Jax. Thank me another time. So long. The attack on the silo has been cleared up. I expected a report from my personal agent. Where's Zarek? Dead. And the circumstances of his death? I'd need more time. No need. Let's get back to the attack. Summarize the facts. Focus on information about the Initiator and possible accomplices. The Initiator first. Who was it? An outlaw. He was pursuing his own agenda. His status? Eliminated. Good. Any retaliatory measures will be taken in due course. Now the accomplices. Who was involved and in what capacity? Skibor was a victim of circumstance. 
His cover was blown in the crater and they made him into a living bomb. How did he get exposed? It was Arissa's fault. She used him to get herself some Elix. I feared for some time she was abusing her post. Now I'm sure. All told, we are down in Elix Silo, a scout and a commander. Under these circumstances, I'm counting on you rejoining us. I'm in desperate need of a replacement for Zarek. Think it over. Being with the Alps is your destiny.